Hi Aquarius and welcome to your general love reading for the first half of May 2022. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Aquarius and it is general so it's not going to be for everybody's situation but if you would like more specific details for your situation you can book a personal reading with me and you can find all that information in the description box below this video. Also for this reading, the roles can be reversed because it is a general reading. We just have the four of cups pop out. Um, yeah, so it could be that somebody's feeling a little bit of disappointment currently. Let's see, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. First couple weeks of May. All right, let's see. For the situation, we have the Fool crossed by the Eight of Cups. Ooh, okay, so it feels like um, somebody was about to make a move or it seemed like somebody was about to make a move and then kind of abandoned that plan, like we just walked away from that. Um, could be you, it could be them. Let's see. Your energy, we have the Knight of Pentacles. The Lovers, okay, so Gemini showing up here, and the Queen of Swords. Well, you are moving in a particular direction, or maybe you are moving in a particular direction. Possibly of making a choice concerning love, um, but it does feel like, you know, you're wanting a particular connection here with somebody but what I see is that you're also then becoming just a little bit more um, like demanding more respect or just like setting up boundaries possibly distancing yourself from this person even though you you definitely do want this and it could even be that you felt like things were just moving very very slowly with this person so that could be why um, you're moving towards kind of being a little bit more strict or raising your standards or just not tolerating as much as you were before. Let's see. For the other person here, we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Um... I feel like you were both working towards something, like both either working towards each other um, or just even towards separate goals even. But I kind of see it as being working towards something together, working towards a common goal, even regardless of whether you were in communication or not. Um, because it seems like they're working towards this Knight of Cups, making some kind of a love, love offer. You are working towards this connection as well, right? The lovers, or even, like I said, making a choice. I see them actually, with this Nine of Pentacles, I feel like they might even be um, either just detaching from something or really working on themselves. Let's see the potential outcome and then we'll clarify. All right, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so a new path. There's a new path that is opening up here. Maybe for the two of you together, maybe for the two of you separately. Let's see. Let's clarify the Fool with the Eight of Cups. All right, we have Strength, the Four of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. Wow. Okay, so first of all, we do have Leo's energy also showing up here, okay? So we have Gemini and we have Leo. Of course, it could be any sign that you're dealing with. Okay, so again, somebody was moving in a particular direction here or was about to take some kind of a leap of faith and then it feels like they just kind of last minute abandoned that plan. And because of that, there was a lot of disappointment. Now, whatever this action was, I mean, with this, this particular Nine of Cups, I mean, it looks like a marriage proposal. So for some of you, it could be that specific. It, it could be that. It doesn't have to be. Um, but whatever it is that somebody was going to 
take an action towards, that was their wish fulfillment. This, and I feel like it was also your wish fulfillment. And again, it's like, it just, they turned around, went the other way. And I feel like that actually left the both of you feeling very disappointed here. Now, whatever this action is, it, it was probably something that required more strength than what that person was able to um, give. Whether it was you or them. All right, let's see. Let's see the Knight of Pentacles for you. All right, the Page of Swords and the Five of Swords. Okay, um, it's like it, 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 it's like you're feeling like you walked yourself into a trap. And it's like, you know, you feel like, um, even if it was you that backed away, um, it's like you feel like you, you walked yourself into a trap. Um, definitely a sense of betrayal here on your end. Or you discovered something that was a betrayal. Let's see. Let's see the lovers. The five of wands and the nine of pentacles. Yeah, so a lot of conflict here. Um, either trying to make a choice. In love, which is something that is just not, not easy for you. And I feel like on the one hand, you're also feeling like, you know what, maybe I shouldn't choose anything and just be by myself. Let's see the Queen of Swords. The Magician and the Page of Cups. Yeah, it feels like you're you're trying to find clarity in terms of exactly what it is that you feel, exactly what it is that you want. Um, I feel like, you know, if you're the one who has been betrayed, um, you're just setting up the standards, you know, of expecting an apology. And I feel like you're, you're standing your ground. You're standing your ground in terms of that. And it's like, because of that, I feel like you are, you are manifesting something. You are manifesting something that is going to be more satis satisfying for you emotionally. And it could even be that you are manifesting this apology because you're demanding your respect. You're not tolerating something that you shouldn't be tolerating or something that is just not in alignment with you. All right, let's see what is going on with the other person. Let's see the Eight of Pentacles. The Two of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, see, this is what's interesting. It's like this person, I feel like they, they, either they are working towards or they were working towards bringing some kind of a balance here, wanting to give. Um, but it feels more like, because with the two of wands, I feel like it didn't really manifest in that way. I feel like it was more of, yeah, the, this was the plan. This is what they wanted to do. This is the effort. And there was effort that was being placed in giving equally or in having some kind of an even reciprocity here but i feel like it was still like a work a work in progress let's see the knight of cups the three of wands yeah so more stalling here and the four of swords yeah, this person is wanting to come in as this Knight of Cups um, to, you know, give you some kind of an offer, possibly even that apology. Um, there's procrastination, though. There's procrastination. They, they are healing something here. I feel like they're 
either recovering from something, maybe if this is the person who went back on the plan, so maybe they are, maybe they're the ones who, um, yeah, who went back on the plan, in which case they, it's like they're making some kind of a recovery from that kind of like just processing that because they're feeling disappointed as well. Um, if that was them, if it was you who went back on something, well, yeah, that, that would explain why this person is just not taking much action even though they would want to. It's like recovering from, from that disappointment, again, whether it was them or whether it was you who went back on a, on a plan. Let's see the Nine of Pentacles. the world and the queen of swords for them as well. There's a completion of a cycle here. I feel like this person is detaching from something. Um, I don't necessarily feel like it's you, but I do feel like they will, they are keeping their distance from you though, um, coming up here. Okay. Um, but it's because they're, making some kind of an exit or they're trying to close something out. So if that was the plan, if it was them who backed out from like making some kind of a completion, ending something, um, I feel like, yeah, they're working on that. And so for that reason, they might be uh, keeping a little bit of distance from you as well. Even though it's like, there is this like either apology or, um, love offer in the back of their minds that they're working towards but again it's like more of like a plan an intention this is what I would want to do but not acting on it just yet that's what I'm getting here so let's see the ace of pentacles because I do see a new path opening up here let's see what that is about so for the ace of pentacles please Page of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. Wow, okay, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. There's a progression here towards a new path that is going to be very secure, very stable, very long term, but also very, very loving. Okay, this is love. This is a new potential for love that is coming in. May or may not be this person, to be honest, I'm not, it's not clear for some of you. It might be, and then for others of you, it might be that the path is opening up for something else, okay? Um, so take it as it resonates, but there's definitely a new path for something very stable in love that is opening up for you here. All right, Aquarius, let's see. If this resonated, the final message for you is the disseminating moon. Take time to breathe out. So yeah, relax. Take time. Everything is going to be okay. All right, Aquarius, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.